Hey gang, thanks for checking out this week's episode of The Last Frame. In this episode, I have a real simple, too light lingerie glamour shot that uses the all-purpose box that I showed you in my DIY home studio video. Stay tuned. This is another one of my keep it simple stupid lighting arrangements. It only requires two lights and a medium sized softbox. And yes, you can do it with speed lights or mono lights. This shot was made as part of a shoot for a new model who came to me to add some flavor to her portfolio. She had already done a few shoots and the agencies were telling her that her photos were too sexy and too much like fashion shots. This young lady is only five foot four inches tall, which means that she won't be shooting fashion. And it's important to know that modeling agencies are okay with some lingerie and bikini shots, as long as they're more PG than R rated. So the goal was to create a shot to show that this young lady is in great shape and is very comfortable with herself. As is often the case, new models struggle with hand placement. And I know that many of you as photographers have the same struggles when it comes to telling a model what to do with their hands. I can't teach you that in this video, but I will tell you that I'm gonna be doing some videos on that topic in the near future. And some of my older videos do touch on that subject. For now, let me just tell you that when in doubt about what to do with the hands, give the model something real to do. You know, hold something, touch something. While it may not get you a perfect hand, it will get you closer to something that looks natural and it's not a distraction in your photo. So with that in mind, I wanted to create a setting that would allow me to do something other than have the model put her hands on her hips or play with the outfit that she was wearing. And I couldn't get too dramatic with the pose because remember, the purpose of this shot was to show her figure and personality. So I decided to use my all-purpose box that I showed you in this video as a second wall. And I placed it along another white wall in my studio with the model sandwiched between the two. The glamour lighting setup is really simple. Two lights, one medium sized softbox. I placed one 320 watt second strobe on camera left, just behind the box, and aimed into the corner of the room. This strobe was dialed up almost to full power, and I used a light amber gel to give me just a little color to the light so that as it hit the wall in the box, it added some flavor to the image. The second strobe was just in front of and above my camera with a medium sized softbox turned horizontally and aimed down towards the model. The camera set slightly below her shoulders so that I'm looking up to her eyes. Almost any time I'm shooting a model standing in lingerie or a bikini, I will put her in a position where her body language shows confidence and power. And that begins by looking up, not down at her. Remember, if you're taller than your model or even the same height, if you're going to shoot a three quarter or full length shot, you will have to tip your camera down to compose the shot. So don't be lazy. Bend your knees and tilt the camera up. This shot was made with an 85 millimeter f1.8 lens set at f5.6. The shutter speed, 1 200th of a second, and the ISO was 200. The final image required very little post-production beyond the usual color, contrast, and sharpening, and of course, removing of blemishes. As always, I say this just as a reminder of the importance of great hair and makeup. I already mentioned that you could do this shot with speed lights and the placement would be exactly the same. Depending on the size and the placement of your softbox, you may feel that you're getting too much light fall off as you get to the model's hips and legs. A simple solution for this is a Walmart reflector placed on the floor and angled up towards the model like you see here. The shot will also work with a beauty dish. However, I would recommend a dish that is at least 21 or 22 inches in diameter. And you don't want it too close to your subject because the light will fall off very quickly. So unless you want to make the lighting much more dramatic, be very careful with the dish. And if you don't own a softbox, as long as you're working in a small space, you could simply bounce your main light off the ceiling and you'll get a similar but slightly softer light on your model. And if the ceiling won't work and the wall is white, you could bounce off the wall. Here are a few other shots with different models that I've done in this setup. I hope this gives you some ideas. Now take this idea and run with it. Go create and show me what you come up with. And don't forget, your best shot, it's your next shot. So keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios.